For this week, the most essential learning competency is Request appropriate electrical supplies, materials, and tools applicable to a specific job. Use the appropriate form in requesting for electrical tools, supplies, and materials for a specific job. Calabarzon students, welcome to quarter 3, week 1 of TLE 7, Electrical Installation and Maintenance. This is Teacher Jess of Imos National High School, Schools Division of Imos City. In this week, you will learn to identify and use different forms in requesting electrical tools and materials for a specific job. Correctness of the entry of different forms used in electrical work is necessary to acquire complete and accurate number of materials and tools needed in a specific electrical job. Here are the forms used in electrical work. Number 1. Purchase Requisition This is a document generated by user or storm personnel to notify the purchasing department the items need to order, their quantity, and the time frame. Number 2. Inventory of Materials Form The raw materials, working process goods, and completely finished goods that are considered to be the portion of a business assets that are ready or will be ready for sale. Number 3. Job Order or Work Order Form It is a written instruction to perform a work according to specified requirements within specified time frame and cost estimates. Number 4. Borrower's Form It is a form used to request for tools and equipment needed for a particular job. Given different situations, identify what type of form must be used and try to fill out the form needed in the situation. The situations are given in your learner's packet.
students from grade 8 Lily will install electrical equipment and lighting fixtures. Joanne, as the president of the class, was assigned to request for the tools and equipment needed for that particular job. What type of form should she fill up? You will install a lighting circuit which is two bulbs controlled by a single pole switch. Your teacher instructed you to borrow the tools needed. How will you fill up a borrower's form? Remember that patience is very important for this task. Good day, I'm Jen Michael C. Florendo, a grade 8 student from Imo City. I will present to you the forms that I filled out. To accomplish the task assigned to her, Joan must fill out the purchase requisition form because it will show the items it needs to order, their quantity, and the time frame. I created a borrower slip because in the situation given, I need to borrow several equipment from the laboratory custodian. Name of borrower, I put my name because I am the one who will borrow the objects. Student number, I put my LRN number. Grade and section, grade 8 Lily. Date borrowed, I put the date today, March 29, 2021. Time borrowed, 2 o'clock p.m. Laboratory, I placed EIM laboratory because that is where we will use the things I will borrow. In the table, I enumerated the objects I need, two bulbs, one pole switch. In the requested by section, I put my name and signature. The other section are still blank because I need to submit this to the supply department first. I have learned many things in this week's lesson and to briefly summarize what I learned, I was able to get familiar with the different forms used in electrical installation and maintenance, how to accomplish and where to use each form. Knowing these things are very important because correctness of the entry of different forms used in electrical work is necessary to acquire complete and accurate number of materials and tools needed in a specific electrical job. Having the knowledge and skills accomplishing these forms will be useful also not only doing electrical work in school, but including specific tasks at home. And even in manufacturing industries, which requires related tasks. Congratulations! You did a great job! In the week 2 episode of Field 7 Electrical Installation and Maintenance, we will explore different measuring tools and instruments. Another exciting week to learn! Again, this is Teacher Jess. Stay connected to Pivot TV, your quick guide to learning.